Hey guys, my name is Rasha and I'm a senior data analyst and I managed to land a senior position as a recent grad. I graduated in October and I was able in uh, the beginning of November to secure a senior position. And let me give you all my tips and tricks on how to stand out and how to get your resume noticed. First and foremost, your resume needs to stand out. I was applying to hundreds and hundreds of jobs, but I was never getting even a, an interview so i was thinking about it and i'm like i really really need to stand out in a way that uh, my resume will be eye-catching and they will be more intrigued and they will pick my resume over the others because you know hr people they uh, they look at your resume for six seven seconds and then on to the next so the first way i found to stand out is to have a qr code on my resume you think the qr code would only link to my LinkedIn but that's kind of boring I wanted to step it up more and show them that I have lots of skills and, and I'm also very artistic and um, I have great problem solving uh, great design stuff that are all relevant to uh, data analysts and also I wanted to show them a project I have been working on and that are successful so I wanted them to know that I can use use case code, that I, I already have a github with like a running program running app that I built for a company so I wanted to make sure they could really get to know me and get to know my skills beforehand. The XYZ formula is a resume writing technique that helps job seekers highlight their achievement and impact. So you start by what you accomplish, that's X. It's measured by, that's Y. Doing and what you did to accomplish the Y, that's Z. So X, Y, Z. Let me give you, let me read you an example from my resume. Develop Power BI dashboard to monitor real-time performance. That's what I did improving 80 percent decision making processes across different ministry that's the number the measurement how by utilizing advanced data integration um, etl techniques so i have my xyz formula here make sure to use that in your resume it will really really help you that's how uh, they like the sentence to be structured it's really important to do to add some metrics LinkedIn is an amazing tool. If you want to be a data analyst, I would suggest go look people around you in your area, big companies, uh, I don't know, one of the big four, just for me, it's data analyst. I would just Google data analyst and look whoever worked at a big co company that I was interested in. And I would just look at their skills, look at um, what is listed. And I looked at a few and I compared what was in common. So I did find that Power BI was in common, SQL was in common. Um, anything Power Ops, honestly, was really important. I did see a trend. I also know Tableau, but Tableau was not as popular as Power BI. So I did uh, focus more on Power BI. That's how I like knew which one to focus on because they are both similar tools. And also programming language, I realized that the most popular one was Python. Uh, for data analyst. Also on LinkedIn, feel free to reach up to people, uh, make connection, network, because honestly, if someone um, knows you or talk to you a little bit, they can actually recommend you. And it's a win-win for both sides because when they recommend a good candidate, they also get a bonus or a reward usually in companies. So don't be shy. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video if you know anyone that is needing a bit of tips with their job search. So hope you like this. All my contact information will be left uh, down below. So feel free to check out my LinkedIn or check out my socials. Hope this helps.